Hello my creative friend, Olga Sabu here and welcome to new acrylic pouring tutorial. Today I want to create dancing flow with beautiful aqua in blue colors and emphasize it with a 3D effect. So I'm going to use this ring again and create an appearance of flow going through this ring. I love adding this effect to my paintings and I haven't done one with ocean colors. So today, time to fix it. Let's get started. Splendid Aqua is a secret message today, and the base I want it to be a little darker, so I'm using phthalo blue color, it dries quite dark. To create a more variation of color, the more multicolor base, I have prepared one more color, so this one is a little lighter. This is phthalo blue, this is a uh, greenish blue with some turquoise in it, so it has a little bit of turquoise and white, so I think it will help my base look more interesting. And by the way, working on 12 by 24 canvas today, I have pre-painted the sides because I want my sides to be covered for this one. And phthalo blue is quite a transparent color, so it's definitely a good strategy to paint the sides if you want to have a good coverage on them as well when the painting is dry. So next color here, as I said, is a mix of turquoise and greenish blue. Just mixing so these colors can overmix. I think there should be plenty of colors, so I'm gonna swipe them now and help them blend even more. Actually, I think I want to add a dash of this turquoise iridescent as well, maybe to have a couple highlights in my base. Oh, this is such a gorgeous color when these two overmix together. It's like very deep blue with a hint of turquoise in it. This is going to be the direction for the composition that I'm working on today. So I'm going to go for a diagonal layout. And this is why my last runs with a painting knife, I go do on a diagonal. So that the flow in the back, in the background matches with the main flow. I'm going to tilt a little bit as well. It will make it more wiggly, but the main layout is this way. So let's torch it out. I want to tilt it to get some coverage on my sides and to also help my colors level out on the canvas. I think this base looks very beautiful. It definitely has this wavy, oceany energy in it. Now I'm gonna create the layout for my dancing flow. Yeah, because the ring, I wanna have it off the center, more like on third. So I want the flow to enter from this side and exit here. In order to do it this way, I would need to blow out this part first, then add the ring element, and then blow out the next section. Definitely want to add some turquoise, and even if I blow out white right now, because I have such beautiful colors in my base, it will already give me some nice turquoise and light blue colors. But I want to have some of this color as well. It's one of my favorite colors. It's turquoise blue. I think it would look absolutely gorgeous here. Here I have also some turquoise green. So it's similar color, but it has a little more green undertone in it. Iridescent uh, blue green. Beautiful lacing and accents. I want to add a couple drops of silver in this one. I don't normally use silver, but I think working with blue colors might as well. I think silver does look awesome with, with blues and turquoise. Next, gold. So my ring design is going to be golden. I don't want to have a lot of gold in the flow. Maybe more on this edge and maybe a little on this edge. A couple orange accents. I want to add my orange only on top of silver because I don't want it to overmix with turquoise. It will overmix a little bit, but silver underneath it will help it stay solid a little better couple other colors here. So this is Venetian Rose. I think it will just add some softness to this color palette. And another bright pop of color. Some vivid pink. Pink works pretty well with blues. Not so good with turquoise, but with blues it will give me actually a nice violet color. So I'm not too worried for this color to overmix. Finally, I need to add a little more white. 
we are ready to blow this out and really create the design. So again, I'm only going to do this part, add the ring, and then blow out the next one. This is beautiful. I added a little bit of light there to create that nice uh, pop of brighter colors and some lacing because I know it will give me some lacing with the rest of the colors. Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm just making sure that the whole ring is nicely covered. Over here is nice. I'm just gonna let it sit for a few seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna spin it and we'll be ready to lift it. And spinning is optional, but I do like the movement that it adds to the design. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This section right here got no gold, but I will touch it up when dry, otherwise perfection oh, i love it and i love it in this area rather than in the center it also works very well okay let's finish up the flow oh that's a lot okay i like this part a little less i do see that I wasn't able to achieve exactly the movement that I wanted with the blow dryer, so I'm gonna do some magic and <laughs> try to adjust it with the breath. Make some of the sections softer. Maybe some need to be a little thinner and some need to be a little thicker because the movement is towards us, so it needs to expand towards this corner, right? By the way, you see the, color, the ring shifted here? It's not a problem. We're gonna take care of it once dry. I do love it better now with having a little stronger towards the bottom here and of course towards the end where flow exits the canvas because it does make more sense composition wise from it entering a little more narrow and exiting with enhanced strength and width. So this is great. I want to add a finger swipe. I did a little touch up right now and we'll do the rest when it's wet and I see that this gold part can go a little further here yeah don't like how this section worked out with lines connecting it's not very organic looking plus this section turned out to be detached from the rest of the flow so that's not good as well and it's kind of important part because it's where your focal point is. So this one needs to be flawless. I do feel like I want to paint this part either with turquoise or maybe even with gold once it's dry. I don't want to touch it anymore because it's beautiful, just need a little bit more love. Actually, maybe even with orange to create a nice accent right here. Yeah, orange will be perfect. <laughs> Heck, I'm gonna add some right now. Ooh, a little splatter <laughs> from my silver. I do love it now. There still maybe will be a little touch up when dry, but right now such a cool focal point right here and it sort of connects both sides of the flow and finger swipe together. I'm not a fan of this line here. It's too wiggly. Look at those drips, they are so gorgeous. I'm gonna try to transfer them to small painting. 
after that. I think it is gorgeous. We are ready for the next step. The painting is all dry and finished, but first of all, I have a super exciting news to share with you. So as you know, I have been working on epoxy resin finish mastery course, and this course is finally finished. So the pre-sale will start on September 5th, and it will only last for five days. So if you want to get an access to this course at a very discounted price, make sure to set that date, September 5th. And of course, you're welcome to join my email list. I will notify you when the pre-sale is live with all the pricing info and everything you need to know about how to access to the course. And if you want to know what's gonna be in the course, the more information about it, uh, check out the link that I have included for you in the description below. It is going to be absolutely packed with amazing information. And if you want to learn how to create that flawless glass-like finish, definitely check it out. Now back to this painting. So I have embellished my ring a little more. I added just more details to make it more sharp and crisp and I love it better this way. And I love this 3D look that it creates with this ring. It definitely adds so much dynamic feel to the composition. And also with this one, I used silver inside of the flow and silver works amazing with blue and turquoise colors. But for some reason, I just don't use this color a lot. And I really like how it looks when it's dry in this one because it adds so much of the subtle shine and it's just, it's more interesting than just plain white color. So I do feel like I should use silver more often, maybe even in combination or instead of white color inside of these type of flows. It was a lot of fun to recap to my Breaking Through the Limit series. I feel like I want to do more paintings in this style. And as you know, I am on a journey to explore different new ways to create a 3D effect in my fluid paintings with different textures and embellishments. And if this is something interesting for you, if you also want to learn how to embellish your fluid art, maybe enhance the design and composition, make sure you're subscribed and check out this new series of mine. I have a lot of fun videos coming up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know how you like the outcome of today's tutorial. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.